Alejandro, play test. How are you, sir? Mr. Plate. Uh, hi. Hi, teacher. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. How was your weekend, sir? Uh, it was. Was it good. awesome? Yeah. It was awesome. No. Yeah, kind of. Kind of. <laughs> what did you do? Uh, yeah, the same every weekend. Uh, uh, help I don't my know what you do father. every weekend. Ah, yeah. help your parents. I can. Help my parents. <laughs> oh. and, and. In a bistro uh, cafe. Yeah, it's oh, a bistro. bistro. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think you said that you live in Santana, right? No. Yeah, I'm from Santana. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what? I wish I could go there and I can visit your bistro. Oh, that will be that will nice. be awesome. <laughs> What's the name yeah. of your bistro cafe, by the way? It's not a bistro cafe. It is a bistro. Mm -hmm. oh, the way that you describe us last time is a bistro. Well, that's it's the way that I call it. Yeah, it's more like um, it's because it's uh, like a family restaurant, right? Right, right. Uh, that's but nice. the speciality is uh, panes con cajita. <laughs> oh, uh, hand spread. Okay, really? That's what you sell? Uh, yeah, oh. and thick and ribs and. Oh my god. Stop talking, Alejandro. <laughs> I'm just dull. I'm just hungry right now. Oh, that's great, really? And do you cook yeah. or no? And it's my special specialty. Specialty? No. No, no, not it's my specialty. Oh, it's not your specialty? So you're not a chef no. like Alex. No. Ah. no, no. Well, maybe you can ask him for some recipes. Oh, yeah. That would yeah, be awesome, okay. you see. Uh huh. Especially the one that I think it was the chicken with mushrooms, right? In cream. All right, right. Oh yeah, that <laughs> sounds pretty good. He's that is a specialty, you know. Mm -hmm. mm. I, I don't know if he, he gonna like it, you know. What? Like, um, the Italian's recipes, you know. Uh huh. Yeah. It's, uh, um. Listen, Tati. More, listen, more, Tati. More Pay attention. <laughs> He's giving us his recipes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, easy like um, oh. like I told you last time the, the pesto sauce. The pesto sauce, yeah, awesome. Honey mustard. Oh, honey, mustard. Mustard. Oh, honey mustard. mustard, you know? Oh my god, yeah. we're talking about high level things, you know? <laughs> gourmet, gourmet <laughs> ingredients. <laughs> Ooh la la. It's good. Cool, you know. C'est très délicieux, monsieur. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, in, in English is yummy, yummy. Oh, okay, okay. Like when, when something is really good and delicious, yummy. Yeah. And in French is très délicieux. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I didn't understand. I'm not just kidding. <laughs> no, 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 but that's true. That's the, that's the mm -hmm. way that you say it. Très délicieux. I think I'm going to write it now. No. I will put it yummy in, in English. Yummy, uh -huh. right? Mm -hmm. and let me put it in French. The, the little thing is that doesn't have the accent. Let me check if I have it here. Hmm. Let me check if I have it. Oh, uh, 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 yeah, I think that. Let me check if I put it French here. Oh, uh, no. This uh, doesn't have French. Ash. Okay. Never mind. Aha. Uh -huh. I am looking right now, guys, for a different accent, but it doesn't have it. So, well, okay. Well, it's not exactly like that because uh très délicieux, but uh in the in the in the e in the first word e, uh, in um in French we have a uh, or accents, no, no, three accents. The good, the grave, and the mm -hmm. circumflex, the one that is like a hat, like a house. Oh. So this one, the tre, it is the one that is like, like this way. Okay, like this size. So that is the accent, but here the, my, lap, my, the, my computer doesn't have the French uh, thing, <laughs> so. 
I didn't write it correctly. So my yeah. French teacher will kill me because of that. But uh, but that's the way it is. Uh, très délicieux. It's the same thing as saying Jami. So you see, you're learning see. another another vocabulary, guys. Yeah, a little complicated. Uh, no, it's not complicated. Well, well, it is in the to. way that we pronounce it. Because, mm. for example, in English, we use more R and L, right? Like R, L, L. But in French, you use a lot of your nose mm -hmm. and your neck a lot. So when you have a cold, you will pronounce it very good. <laughs> 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 yeah, you know what? Definitely, you do. Yeah, you do. Uh -huh. And in French, we have also uh, words from it. For an English, you know, also. Yeah. For example, dance is in, mm. in English, right? The dance. Yeah. And uh, in, in French, you, use, you, you, uh, you write it like this. Dancer. That's what you said. That's what you dance. But this is the infinitive. That even though it ends in R, you don't say dancer. You say danse. Because in French, you do not pronounce the termination. But you see that uh, it's coming from dance, right? Which is a word in English. Mm -hmm. So you see, that's yeah. why I love uh, languages. They're fantastic. <laughs> it's in their Korean language. What? Korean language. Well, I, you know what? I'm trying to <laughs> learn, but I will, I'm trying to learn Mandarin first. Mm -hmm. I'm interested in Mandarin, in Hebrew, and in Greek. Yeah, for example, I know some words. Um, oh, is, uh -huh. Thank you. Like, thank you. Uh -oh. uh, okay. Yeah. That is also, your welcome? No. Korean. Yeah. Oh, good. Or hello. Or... Ah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> what else? Um, Teach us. You are your. There are four in the Just here. Let, ah, Come no, on. Alex. No, because <laughs> I, I knew. A lot of that. Uh, oh, that is a, a, a language that you like? I, I wasn't ready for this conversation. You know? uh, I, uh, <laughs> do, you, do you believe her, Tani? Tati? <laughs> no, right? <laughs> no, but that's good. That's good. Languages are really nice. And you know what? Yeah. When we learn languages, they open many doors. Yeah. But one of the basics mm -hmm. language, guys, is the, the one that you're learning right now, is the English. English is the basic, the basic language. Because it helps you with your prepare your mind, your neurons, and your face and muscles, and also your tongue. Yes. Yeah. So that's why we have to learn it correctly. So that's the base one. And when you finish this, you will be able to learn another one. Mm -hmm. That's why I just mm -hmm. put a lot of emphasis on the pronunciation. I know sometimes you want to kill me. I, I feel it. <laughs> Yeah. Especially Lulu, right? <laughs> but, yeah, I know. But uh, you just said, like, teacher, why are you asking me to repeat that again? See if I did it repeat right. It no. Ten times. Yes. And I told you <laughs> that, um, well, that repetition is the mother of attention. Mm -hmm. So it's really, really important that you, like, repeat it, repeat it, and repeat it. Yes. The more you repeat it, you will never forget it. Do you like yeah. the, the activity that we do on Thursday? The about yeah, the, 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 the who? Yeah, you like it? Ah, yes, because um, you won. Huh? Mm -hmm. No, not, <laughs> not because of that. <laughs> no, nah, just teasing you. Hey, teasing you. You know what teasing you is? Um, like um, to prove me? <laughs> no, no, no. Yes, it's something, it's something to do with you. Yes, but... No way, you exactly, okay, Alejandro, don't take it personally. But <laughs> no, but there's a difference. When you're joking, like, ha, 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 and everybody's laughing. Hey, I'm joking, guys. Okay, that is one word. But when you said something, it's like, everybody's like, oh my God, no, don't worry, Kai. It was not a tree, it was a, I was kidding, okay? Because you were, you were, uh, give me like false expectation, but, but with everybody. But if I want to like laugh and, and do jokes with only one person in particular, I do not say I'm kidding. I'm teasing. 
In, in, yes, in this case, I was teasing with Alejandro, right? So wow. when you're when you're making jokes, girl, guys, but only with one person in particular, you don't say mm -hmm. I'm kidding with you. No, you said I'm teasing you. That means mm -hmm. I'm making jokes to you specifically. Okay, oh, so that's the okay. difference between kidding. If you're talking about, ah, hey guys, I'm kidding, is that you're making jokes in general for everybody. Yeah. But if you're is, is making jokes only for one person in particular, you're kidding. You're teasing, okay? <laughs> you're teasing. Okay, killed you, right? Kidding, and kidding. Teasing. 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 teasing, teasing only with what person? Kidding, there are a lot of people. Uh, no, I, yeah, I got it, but um, how? How like a spelling. Write, uh, how do you write it? How do you write it? Okay, let me check. I'm kidding. Um, kidding is like this, right? And let me double check about teasing. A anybody idea? I don't know. T e a. Uh, uh huh. Or oh, is the first time that you heard that word? No. Uh, in my case, in, my case yes. in your case, yes, Alejandro. What about you, Alex? Is the first time that you heard a voice? Mm, no, I, I think I heard before. Okay. How do you think it's right? It? T E A Prodi. Is. Nah. Teasing. Yeah. T, T E A S. I N G. I and you, yeah. Mm -hmm, exactly, teasing. So that is when you're teasing, when you're making jokes only for one person in particular. But yeah. if you're talking about jokes in general with everybody, with a lot of people, kidding. Okay. okay. So you see, you need, you need a new word today. Yes. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, teacher. every, no, thank you. Every time, every week, every night, we learn something new. Yeah. That is for you to increase your vocabulary, okay? So now, if you're making jokes to Alejandro, to Miguelito, to Tati, to Juancito, hey, Juancito, I haven't noticed your, your screen, Juancito. Isn't you so selfish, Juancito? Hey, Juancito wrote, oh. Juancito, the best, you know, yes. girls? Uh, <laughs> uh, hey, yeah, yeah, give it all five, one. Juancito. That's the spirit, my man. That's the spirit. The best. <laughs> the the best. best. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. <laughs> and he put it in superlative. The best. Uh, yeah. Excuse yes. me. <laughs> ah, <sh. laughs> what what had happened to Juancito this weekend that now Are he's so selfish? Uh, uh, no, I'm teasing me? with you. <laughs> hey, you know what? But I like it, Juancito. That's the spirit. Yeah. Hey, I like it. That's really nice. Yo, Tati can say Tati Sanchez, Lulu's owner. <laughs> hey, Mr. Herrera is here. Rafa, how are you? How was your weekend, sir? Great. Great. Yeah. Ah, it's so nice to hear that. Did you finish your exercise for today? Not yet. Ah, no yet. <laughs> I'm going to finish after the class. Today. Ah, okay, okay. So now you changed the uh, yeah. the schedule. Okay, okay, that's cool. Yeah. That's awesome. Hey, do you like Juancito's um, title? Juancito, the best. That's amazing. Juancito, the best. Yeah, that's the spirit, right? Oh, that sounds good. Best. Yeah. <laughs> I love him. That's so nice. That's Welcome, so guys, to this class. I like, I have Rafaelito, Beatriz, Alex. Juancito, the best. Daddy, mm -hmm. <laughs> Felipe, Ms. the Dr. Miron, we have Iris, we have Danny, Rachel, Miss Janet, Michael, and Kike. Yay! That's really nice. We have a lot of guys today. Hey guys, mm -hmm. can everybody everybody wants to change or anybody wants to change uh, wants to like share with the group any special thing that happens to you this weekend? Please hold on, hold on, one at a time, one at a time. I know that everybody wants to participate, <laughs> but hold on, hold your horses. Good, I have to say something. Okay, about the whole 
Tati, go ahead. The microphone is all yours, my girl. No. <laughs> I I want to say about Kahoot because when we start the game, I didn't understand what I have to say. Uh -huh. Do what I have to do. Uh -huh. And and I I was using my personal internet. So when I want to answer the the, the question or the topic. You couldn't. Is, oh, I couldn't. And and I never see that just at the end of the of the game and I was lost. I don't know what to do. Uh, we, yeah, we, but I explained it that every time that we play Kahoo Girls, we have to have two devices. But it was my first time because I think ah. you to play Kahoo of the last last Monday, and I wasn't in the in the class. No, it was the first time on Thursday. Uh -huh. Yes, yes, with both groups. I, but I think on Monday I explained uh, the details. Ah, okay. Uh -huh, exactly. I, I never, I never. You had never, the I know it's for most of you it's the first time. But no, now you know that the, that for next for this week on Thursday we're going to play it once again, and uh, this time you have to have two devices. Uh -huh. A, one device that you will be able to see my screen. And the other ones that you are going to log in, but you're not going to see the, the answers. You will see only the colors. The colors. Uh -huh. So in your device, you have to click. And on uh -huh. my screen, you have to watch the answers. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So now you know for next time. <laughs> and you were like, oh my God, right? <laughs> but that's it. But do you like it? Yes. Yeah, it but was really at, nice, at, right? At the beginning, I what what I have. To what? Do. <laughs> you were lost. <laughs> well, but now you know, and that helps you a lot, guys. That that game is really fantastic because it helps us a lot. So we're going to. Would you like it to play one more time this week, guys? Kahu? Yes. Yeah. Like play. Yes. Okay. So this time, hey Mariana, hello Pane. Yeah, we're good. Um, this time is going to be harder. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't you like guys, Mr. Alex Laffy? <laughs> like that? <laughs> Excellent. So prepare. And now, guys, you know that I evaluate scoma and punctuation, right? Hey, let me tell you, let me explain to you something that I have listened during this um, two weeks. And this is regarding punctuation, but basically the pronunciation of punctuation. Um, there's one little body. That's what I call one little body. I, I wrote it in the chat right now. Little period, little dot mm -hmm. at the end of the sentence. Okay. That little punctuation has three names. Depends on when you use it. For example, if you use that little the little thing at the end of the sentence you have you have to to name it like that no 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 it's like that yeah period no oh yes period no yes period period yes yes period yes. exactly at the end of the sentence exactly but uh if you use it uh, for example in mathematics you don't use you don't say period you said point mm. for example 2.4 like decimals yeah 2.4 mm. 2.5 etc and cool. it's the same little body right but in, in sentence you put, yes just beatrice a period is period you, you you name it period when you use it in a use, sentence okay at the end of the sentence in when the, you, mat mat the mat mathematics, mathematics point is Point. Point. And if you're using for ex you're welcome, Beatrice. And if you're using, for example, in an email address, that you said dot. That. Exactly. Uh, I yes. think I sent it to you on one of the listenings, right? Or no? Mm -hmm. No, I no no no. I put it just the numbers and the names, right? 
Okay, oh. I will send you one listening activity that is going to be just to help you writing email addresses. Mm -hmm. So that will help you a lot. So oh, nice. that little body in the in email is called dot. Dot. But that is where you write dot d o t dot. Mm -hmm. That's the way you write it dot. If you want to write it completely, right dot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you said it in sentences, period. Mathematics. Yeah. Point. Email addresses, dot. That. And you see, it's exactly the same little body, mm -hmm. the same punctuation, but it depends of the context that you use it. It has different names. Coma is always nice. coma all around the world, okay? Yeah. Very good. Okay, so we're going to. The interpretive signals, just like that. Oh, yes. Uh, uh, for example, if it's normally, like the question, you say question mark. A question mark. Uh huh. It's only one for. In English, we only use the one at the end. Okay. But in Spanish, you use both. Yes, something. Yeah. Okay. And if you, it's the other one that we use when you like to express feelings, right? That's what we call exclamation mark. Mm hmm. Yeah, I, I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to send it to you, the punctuations in English. Yeah, that's really nice for you to have it, right? As a, as a reference. Yeah, the last, yeah, I will. I will send it to you. you I will I send it to you how to say parentheses, how, how to say, um, how you say that in, in English. Let me check it out. At, <laughs> the arrow thing, the arrow symbol, oh. at, at. Yeah, we, we, all of them, like slash, forward slash, backslash, all of them that we use. And because um, you said it's really important we use it in email addresses. So it's, for example, somebody's giving you something, you're like, what that is, right. it is, right? Yeah, so I'm important. going to send it to you. And in that little listening uh, example that I'm going to send you right now as well. Uh, that one uh, before they give you the email addresses, they explain it to you the the important simple that most of email addresses have, right? So they give you all the, the information as well. But I will send it to you as an extra thing, okay? So okay. It, it will be really hard because it's still in French accent and, and sorry in a British accent. Mm -hmm. I, I know, but it will help you a lot, okay? Okay, very good girl, guys and girls. So today we're going to continue talking about one thing that I love and also Janet loves, which is grammar, right, Janet? Yeah, of course. Yes, of course. She doesn't want to look at me right now. <laughs> <laughs> Only one seat at the best. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and I love his smile. Okay. Right. And Beatrice is laughing like, oh, no, no, we got a teacher. Yeah. You know what? <laughs> the teacher drives me crazy. No, I'm just kidding. Crazy. <laughs> Easy peasy, queasy, right? Okay, guys. Today we're going to talk about something really, really nice, you know. And um, I think you already have seen it. Hopefully you do. Uh, have you heard about participles or no? Yes. Yes? Uh-huh. Have you used them? Yes, I right? Participles. Uh, yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mm, yes. And no. <laughs> Depends. Like, mm -hmm. For you, teacher. Hmm. Okay, yes, yes, exactly. Yes, <laughs> you see? Yes, I think it's Jackie who like said that, right? The, but that lies the grammar structure. Me too, I love grammar structure. That's, I it, love it, the best. It's very formal. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Okay, so what am I asking you that, guys? Well, because today we're going to talk about that participles. That is a little, a little word that we use all the time. And um, to uh, basically, I think Alex mentioned that past possible verbs. You said right, Alex? Yeah. Yes, because most of the time, guys, the pa the past participles 
and we use it as a verb. That's for sure, yes, in most of the mm -hmm. time. And we have the ED right at the end. If it's, for example, regular verbs. Yeah. However, do you know that the past participles also we can use them as an adjectives? Yeah. Right. Yeah, we can use them. So to, uh, you already know the verb use because we use them most of the time. But today, guys, we're going to learn the participles as an adjective. And I think you already used them, but you didn't know that you were using participles as an adjective. You will see. Mm -hmm. But but before we go into deeply to that, uh, I just want you to refresh your mind a little bit when you were ooh, in a school yesterday, okay? Yesterday. <laughs> yes, live a little that way. I know. <laughs> no, no, in, in your case, Janet, no, because you're still <laughs> in a school. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but in a different role, right? Okay. <laughs> okay. So, oh, okay. And I think Janet can help us answering this. But I will, I will <laughs> uh, make the question in general, okay, to everybody. Um, guys, do you remember? Uh, don't cry for me, Janet. I love you. I'm sick. Uh, oh, are you sick? And I'm teasing yeah. you. I'm sorry. Oh. Uh, but do you feel uh, a little bit much for better? Hmm. Uh, to na today in afternoon, I start to feel sick. Oh so tomorrow God. I will be okay. Yes, yes. I know that you will be okay. And I'm so happy that you're here in today's because class. I have, because I have class and I can lost it. Of course you cannot lost it. Oh, yeah. But I'm so happy that you're here. Thank you from the bottom yeah. of my heart. But okay. don't worry, okay? I'm not going to, to ask you too many questions, okay? I will not tease you today. No, 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 don't worry. <laughs> okay. I'm happy for this. Ah, okay. So let me continue teasing you. Ah, just <laughs> <kidding>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, the, the thing that I'm going, that, what I was asking you is because um, we were talking about the participles we can use as an adjectives as well. But I want guys to make a little bit refresh about what is an adjective. Do you remember, guys? What is an adjective? Anybody? Hold your horses. Hold your horses. When you say uh, ready? Angry. Angry. Aha. 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 Very good, Auntie. Yeah, you gave me an, uh, an example, which are good. But I just want to know the definition about an adjective. What is it? Uh, uh, Professor Janet, please, if you don't mind. <laughs> An example, right? No, an example, no. The definition. The definition of an adjective. What is it? Um, describe the noun. Very good. Exactly, Janet. Most of the time, adjectives describes noun, right? Yeah. Give us like a qualification uh, about color, about form, about everything, right? Okay, exactly. So, also, if uh, it's an adjective describes now, also, guys, when we're talking about participles as adjectives as well, they will describe the noun. They will do it. Yeah. That's what I want you to refresh because it's exactly the same function. Mm -hmm. The difference will be the writing way. So let me share my screen with you, okay? And you will understand what am I talking about. So allow me just a couple of minutes because I can see Mr. Um, Alice is like, what is the teacher talking about? I have no idea what she's talking about. <laughs> okay, let me check it out really quickly. If if for any chance I'm explaining something and, and there's somebody that they do not understand, please let me know, okay? Okay? Yeah. Okay. okay. Okay, come on. It's Monday. I know, but are you okay? Yeah. Okay, that's the spirit that I need. Okay. Ah, come on. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, okay, okay. Very good. Okay, guys. So do me a favor. I, I want to know if you can see it. Can you see my screen right now? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. That's, that's what I want to know. If you can see it, that's awesome. Oops. Teacher, that's too big. Yes, I know. But it's for a purpose. Okay. So I want you guys to take a look on the left side, which is the one that I'm rolling right now. And uh, 
You see, the topic is participle as an adjective. As we said, describes the noun. And I give an example, guys. Who can yeah. help me read it? Thank you so much, Rafa. Can you please be so kind to help me read this example? Okay. Example. Mm -hmm. The white cat was excited to watch. Very good. Stop there. Excellent. Thank you. Guys, in this particular sentence, what is the noun? The white cat was exciting to watch. Cat. Cat, cat. exactly. Yeah. The noun is the cat. And I'm not talking about any cat. I'm talking about the white cat, right? Uh-huh. And what do I say about the white cat? That is exciting. What's exciting. Watch. Exactly. So, guys, in this one, exciting, this one, is the particle that I'm using as an adjective. So, in this case, I'm using as an adjective, and that one is describing Mr. White Cat. Yeah. Uh -huh. Now, let me go ahead and and move your eyes to the right side when i have here guys i had to let you know something uh we uh, we have two kinds of particles as an adjective we got present and best mm -hmm. okay the present is the one that we use the ing which is the one that we have here you see mm -hmm. okay and this is the example the regular way is excite, right? As an adjective in present, exciting. However, guys, we also have the same one, but in past, which we add the e ed. And we do not say exciting, we said excited. Yeah. Exciting. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, okay, we already identify. Now, there's a present and there's a past participle. Yes, mm -hmm. that's for sure. Mm -hmm. That is clear like water, teacher. Uh -huh. And uh, if it's present, we got to use the ing form. Excite, excite. You say fast, excite, excited. We understand that, right? So far, so good, guys? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yes. But there's a question. There's a big question mark in everybody's head. Mm -hmm. What is the question, guys? What do you think is the question? How to identify or we can exactly this person or exactly Alex Alex and guys well teacher I know that yes it's clear like water but when do we use them right how can I know if I'm going to use the present one and I'm going to use the past ah, yeah. big question mark okay you see the teacher already thought about your your, your possible mm. questions okay so this beautiful teacher, it was me, I'm just kidding. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's ready, ready. Yes, I'm ready to rock and roll. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> yes, uh -huh. you knew it, right? Okay. Okay, so, because I already know that, I will give you the answer. Okay. And, and of course, I will give you another example, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Who's going to move? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Help okay. <laughs> Can you see my screen now, guys? Yes. Yes? Okay. This is what I want you to be here. Everybody wants to be the, uh, their beautiful eyes on the top of, of the screen. Okay. Which in this case here. The ING, guys, the present one, describes the okay. noun, right? Let me give you this. You see, this is an example. What is the noun here? The museum is interesting. Museum. Museum. Exactly. That is that. And what I'm what I'm saying about the museum? It's interesting. That is interesting. Okay. Yes. Of course. However, then I have here the other one, which in this case, ed is the one that describes feeling of a noun. Oh my mm -hmm. goodness! You said. Is that possible that a noun can have a feeling? Yes. Yeah. Let's take a look. In this case, most of the time it's a person, right? Okay. So mm -hmm. here it is. What is my feeling about the museum? I'm interested. interested. You see? Mm -hmm. So 
If I'm talking about the things most of the time, you're gonna use it, the present participle in the ing form. Uh, but if you're talking about a feeling of a noun, in this case is a person, right? Feelings, you gotta use ed. Mm -hmm. Let me give an example. Last night party was interesting. I was really interested. You see? Mm -hmm. The first one I was talking about the party, the thing in general, which in this case it was ing form. I used the, pre the, the present participle. If, even though guys, I use the past of the verb to be, but I'm using the present participle, which in this case is the interesting, okay? Mm -hmm. But the second sentence, I was talking about the emotions, my feelings mm -hmm. about the party. So I didn't say, I was interesting. No, I was interested. Okay, because I was yes. talking about my feelings about that thing. You understand the difference? Yes. yes. So if you do ED, that calls, yes, Kike, I knew it. Kike, big question mark. Go ahead, Kike. Uh, I am confused with that. Uh -huh. Go ahead, go ahead. I can you explain again, please? Okay, yes, of course, but I'm going to ask somebody. Alex, can you explain, uh -huh. Kike? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. You see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, prepare your... I prefer you, come no, on. No, no, prepare your mind. Ah, he's preparing <laughs> his mind, Kike. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, when when you say uh, present and past, the difference is we use an impression using ENG, right? And then you describe, describe a noun. So it's like that. When the last night, like that explained. The, last night, the party last night was exciting. And then how do you, the other one describes, describe how you feel, how you feel yesterday at the party. And so in the past, you add ed, ed, I'm sorry, uh, describes your feelings, right? So in the party I was, or the party I was interested. Okay. So you feel how how you feel yesterday at the party? I, I think most of the I think it's clear, right? <laughs> Kike, is that clear? <laughs> Kike, tell the truth. You More confused. You got it? Oh my god. <laughs> okay, Kike, do me a favor. Okay. Right now, what is your doubt? What the what do you have understand and what you do not understand? I just want to know that. How can how can use ENG or yeah, ED? How, how to identify it? How to identify it? Yeah. How to identify it or or, or when 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 or when to know how have what which one I have to use? That's the question. Mm -hmm. Is that is that what it is? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay, Kike. Do you Can know I that? Can I try to explain? What? Hmm? Can I try to explain? Uh, of course, teacher Janet, listen to <laughs> her, please. Oof. Okay, the teacher is going to zip it. Go ahead. Jan Janet, the best. Mm -hmm. uh, excuse <laughs> me. <laughs> Those are preferences. Those are preferences, Masito. <laughs> uh, we'll use ing when described object. For example, uh, the the dog was not the dog was um, exciting. The dog uh, object or animals, maybe uh, we'll use ing and when and when will use id when you talk about persons. When you say I, you, he, etc. Mm -hmm. so, okay. But Is I it... have a question. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, teacher Janet, go ahead. Okay, yeah, we can use to. We can use or can we use? I can use no, to you... adjective. 
Are you asking me or are you saying something? Asking. So is can, can I use or can I exactly? Can I yes. Asking? Mm -hmm. Can I use two two nouns? Describe two nouns? Yes. Why not? For example, uh, the class was interesting, but I feel uh, boring. Okay, thank you so much for being sincere. No, 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 no. It's a, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Very clear, very clear. <laughs> that is clear, right? I water you. That's a very uh, good example. <laughs> Class is interesting, but I was boring. Uh huh. You see, you can use uh, both. Okay. Uh, exactly. That is a good. Uh, thank you, Janet. Even though that okay. sentence broke my heart completely. <laughs> no, okay. but, but but it's a good example because Kike, mm -hmm. the first one, she was using the ING, which we call present participles, because most of the time the ING you're going to use to talk about um, the description of, of something, of a thing. Mm -hmm. like, for example, a museum is exciting, okay? Mm -hmm. that, that we're talking about the place in general, which is mm -hmm. exciting. It's because it's either interesting to look for, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. But you can say, I'm excited to go to a museum. For example, mm -hmm. you're not talking about the place anymore. You're talking about your feelings. Mm -hmm. In this case, the noun is you, right? Mm -hmm. And you're describing your feelings about the museum. What you're, talk, what mm -hmm. you're telling about us, or about the museum, that you're excited mm -hmm. to go there. So you see? I'm okay. using the yeah. same one. I'm using exciting and excited. But exciting I'm using for places or for things, like Janet said. And excited is for this, the feelings of the now. In this case, my feelings about something. Okay, teacher. Good. Okay. Thank you. Very okay. good. Yes. I when you when you say with their person, when you are talking about their person, you're using ing. Something like that. Mm -hmm. For example, let me give you a good example that contrasts Miss <laughs> Janet's uh, sentence. Okay, I can say it. the class is interesting. The English okay. class is interesting. Uh -huh. And I can say Lulu is interested in today's English class. <laughs> Lulu is Tati's dog. Right? Yeah. Okay. So you see? Uh, the first one, uh, Kiki, I'm talking about the, ge the general, about the class, right? Because the class is a thing, right? But the second one, I'm talking about Lulu. <laughs> Lulu is a live creature, a beautiful baby. And I'm talking about that she's excited. She's, yay! And, uh, and uh, another uh, teacher, Sylvia student. See? <laughs> so about, so that, about... that is her emotion about the class. Now do you understand? about its feeling, right? Exactly. Its feeling. Is, is it much like better? That. Is it clear, Kike? Yes. Like water, right? <laughs> or la horchata. <laughs> Tamarindo. Oh, come on, Kike. <laughs> oh, teacher. All righty. Lulu, That's give okay. me Joe five. Thank you so much for your help and support. <laughs> oh, I love her. It looks, see, so, it looks interesting in the class. Yes, it looks interesting. No, but about you. it feelings. The, ah, about feelings. Lulu, you said? Yeah. Ah, yes, yeah. interesting. Yeah, it yes. looks interesting. Mm -hmm. She right. looks interesting. Yeah, it looks. Ah, oh, come on. The class was it's a girl. Mm -hmm. It's an animal. <laughs> mm -hmm. Exactly. So you see that that is not complicated, right? No. Oh. Okay, so it's not complicated and everything looks like water instead of horchata and tamarindo, oh, right? Yes, Mariana? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> okay. So, so light is clear. A museum was interesting to visit. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then the museum um, was interested. No, the museum. I, I feel, no, I. Yeah, yeah. I feel interested in visit to the museum. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. That like piece of cake, like water, you see? Okay. okay. Okay, guys. So yeah. this is what I'm going to do. We have a lot of another um, <coughs> particles that we can use as an adjective. Oof, there's a lot of. I will try to send, give it to you that information. But let me do something before. Let me check. <laughs> All right. Let me check it this one. Now that we are perfectly fine, you can say, for example, guys, 
work is tiring, right? Ah, mm -hmm. and you can say, I'm tired. You see? The movie mm -hmm. is exciting. I'm excited about the movie, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. so let me uh, send you something uh, through the WhatsApp. And uh, I just want to know, first of all, be before we do this uh, writing activity, that uh, if you um, know the meaning of these particles, that's what I want to know, because it's really important that you do. Bear with me for a moment. Let me find you right now in WhatsApp, because you know that I'm I'm a really busy woman. That to be honest with you, I do have a lot of contact. You know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I teacher, you're so selfish. Yes, I am. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, guys. The teacher is so popular. Nah. <laughs> okay, famous. don't don't stand up, Mr. Alex. Okay, guys, uh, did you receive it already in the WhatsApp? Yep. Yeah? Yes. Okay, so I sent it to you right now. Uh, different uh, particles that we can use as an adjective, right? We have the first one. I just want you guys, first of all, to practice the pronunciation. Okay, repeat after me. Amaze. 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 Annoy. Amaze. Annoy. 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 Confuse. Disgust. Embarrass. Shock. Okay, again, the pronunciation. Amaze. Amaze. Annoy. Confuse. Disgust. Embarrass. Shock. Okay. Shock. Tell me something. For these words, are are everything uh, it's clear for you, or there are some words that are brand new for you guys? Yes, the annoyed, annoyed, amazed, amazed. What else? Embarrassed, confused, disgust, embarrassed. Shocked. Everything. Oh, Come on, Kike. <laughs> uh huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Come on, Kike. <laughs> Alrighty. Amaze. What does amaze mean? Any idea? Oh. Like wonderful? No. No. Uh, it's like, like uh, yeah, like if you are like a uh, surprise there, amaze. Yes. Uh, yeah, amaze. Uh, some bras say about it. Like wow. Amaze. Okay. Wow. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Yes, yes, yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> what about annoy? Annoy. Molesto. Yes. Oh. Like, for example, when you are trying to concentrate and there's a lot of doors barking, like, rrr, 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 like yeah, yeah. oh my God, this noise is annoy. Right? Mm -hmm. Or when you're in a traffic jam and everybody's like, pee, 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 pee. oh my God, that's annoy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Uh, what is another one? Annoy is for the. For the circumstances, no sé cómo depends. Decir. You can use it both. Okay. Mm -hmm. So to, because we're going to practice uh, because the the, uh, the circumstances could be annoyed, <laughs> but there's sometimes there's a people that are annoyed as well. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. They are like mm -hmm. <laughs> insisting mm -hmm. on something like. It's annoying. Uh huh. That was like your like, uh, younger brother is annoying. Uh huh. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> or sometimes, for example, when you have a long day. And for example, Tati hasn't go out with Lulu. Lulu is like roof, 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 like mm -hmm. until until sure. uh, Tati uh, take her out for a walk. Right? She was like freaking mm -hmm. annoying. Yes, go ahead. Yeah. Yes, Beatrice. Sure. What? Annoy is used uh, for uh, uncomfortable situation. Yes, something like that. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. For yes, most of the time it's uncomfortable situation. Yes, right, right. There's an, another word that is new for you guys. Uh, embarrass. 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 When something like oops, I, I embarrass. So so. I'm very good. Oh, exactly. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Any other one? Thank you. Shock. You know what shock is like? <gasps> right. That is. 
impactado. Impacted, yes, exactly. Like in shock. That you can move. Okay. What else? Any other of the words that you don't know what does it mean? Confuse you? No, that of course, right? It's cost? <laughs> yes. No. no? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Kike. Uh huh. Uh -huh. What means? <laughs> huh? I knew it. I knew it, Mr. Kike. All righty. No, that's okay. Um, this cost when you like. For example, um, uh -huh, you, something is uh, for the, the fish, Kike, when the fish has four days, it smells bad, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Out of the, yeah, so it's like, that's disgusting. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, like, okay. asco, repugnancia, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. That's disgusting. Uh -huh. But also, there's a thing that could be disgusting, but also there's a circumstance that could be disgusting. And also there's a person who could be disgusted, right? So that depends. Okay, guys. So let me see you right now. A writing activity that will be individually, okay? So no copy. Okay. <laughs> okay. So bear with me for a moment. Actually, guys, it's, it's going to be a paragraph. A paragraph that you are going to use the words that we have discussed right now. All of them. Mm -hmm. But you need to watch out carefully because sometimes you will be able to use it as a present participle with the ing form or as a past participle with the ed. So I want you guys to pay attention of the logic of the sentence, okay? And try to use it in the right way. You have to use only the, the ones that we have just double check embarrassed, shock, amazed, confused, etc. Only those. Don't invent. But you yeah. can use it either in an ING form or ED. Okay? Past or present. I will yeah. give you two minutes. <laughs> and you're going to do it individually, okay? Individually. Ten no minutes, copy. Ten, ten minutes. Ten minutes. No, Kiki. I have Come on. You can do it. You can do your best. Any any doubts, any questions, I'll be here, okay? Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Just read carefully the entire sentence until the period. So you can understand the logic of the sentence and then you decide which one goes to the blank space and if it's an ING form or ED. That would be my recommendation. Did you finish? No. Not yet. Okay. One more minute.
finished, guys? No. Yeah. <clears throat> Okay, so now that you have finished, let's share it. Don't worry if you have not finished, okay? All right. It's a little paragraph, right? Was it easy or was confused? Mm -hmm. A little bit. That was easy, Probably. right? Of course, you're, you're really smart, guys. Okay, so uh, who can help me first reading? Thank you so much, Marianita. Go ahead. I have well I only have a little paragraph no that's okay okay today I woke up early no in the no morning. no sorry to interrupt you no I was talking about the exercise that I sent to the whatsapp did you do that no I think it was a personal <laughs> no 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 phrase. but that's okay don't worry just answer yourself the whatsapp and then we're going to go back together okay Okay. No worries with it. Okay. Uh, Danny, you said that you're going, you would like to participate? Yes. Yeah, of course, Danny. Go ahead. We'll listen to you. <laughs> but I don't finish. Uh... Don't worry. Uh, just do the first part, the first sentence, okay. please. Okay. I had a terrible time at the movies. First, my ticket cost $10 hmm. with. Uh, Ten cents was really annoyed. Annoyed by, by the price. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so he, no, uh, okay. Don't go, stay there. Stay there. So you said I had a terrible time at the movies. And I understand mm -hmm. you. First, my ticket cost $10. Wow. I was really annoyed, right? Annoyed by the price. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Okay. Continue reading uh, Rafael. Thank you, Danny. Okay, teacher. Okay. Uh, by mistake? By mistake, mm -hmm. I gave the cashier a five bill instead of a 10. Uh -huh. It was confusing. It, it was or I was? I was. I was a little confusing. I was a little confused or I was a little confused? Confused. Confused. Mm. With ed or with ing? I think it's ing. Are you sure? No, because no, no. I think it's the only one because it's like a feeling, right? Uh huh. And you're talking about it or you're talking about you? This use was it's ed. ED. Uh huh. Because you're talking yeah, about you. I was you. confused. Uh huh. Uh -huh. I yeah. was confused. Very good, but very it's good, Rafa, guy. because you're like. You like correct yourself. Very good. Excellent. Yeah. Okay. Is that what you have, Danny? Teacher. Yes. No, no, no. I don't have a, a ah, okay. question. To start, so. Okay. Go ahead, Alex. Can I give you my opinion the first one and the second one? No, I'm, I don't want you to opinion right now because mm, I'm not okay. saying that it's right or wrong. Okay. I, what I want to know is if you use ING or ED, then I will say mm. if it's right or wrong. Okay. Okay. But do me a favor. Continue reading, please, Alex. The third part. Mm -hmm. Then there was trash all over the theater. The mess was disgusting. Mm -hmm. Continue. The people, the people behind me talked during the, the movie, which was annoying. Mm -hmm. Continue. Yes. The story was hard to follow. I always find trailers too confusing. <laughs> too confusing. Mm -hmm. I like the special effect. Yeah. So they were amazing. Mm -hmm. Very good. It, which is the, the two sentences that you have? So you said on the last one, the uh, uh, Alex, you, you use amazing, right? Amazing, yeah. Uh -huh. Amazing. Do you use yeah. confusing? Yes. Mm -hmm. And the other one? The one was uh, annoying, right? Annoying. Yeah. Annoying. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So what about the first, the first two? So the first one is shocked because mm -hmm. you was shocked. 
by the price, you know, because mm -hmm. of the price. So by mistake, you gave the, the cash, a cashier, you gave you $5 mm -hmm. bill instead of 10. Mm -hmm. I was a little embarrassed. Oh, okay, very good. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's a good proposal. Very good. Uh, proposed. Do you have, guys, who has the same as Alex or do you have something different? I have the same. I have the, the same. same. Also, Mariana, also Tati. Yes. What else? What about you, Beatrice? What about you, Rafa? One seat of the best. Mr. Felipe Miron, do you have the same or do you have different? The same, teacher. The same. A little Very good. different, teacher. Who has different? Beatrice? Yes. Okay, what do you have? Read for us, please. I had a terrible time at the movies. First, my ticket cost $10. I was really shocked mm -hmm. by the price. Mm -hmm. By mistake, I gave I gave the cashier a five dollars bill instead of a ten. I was mm -hmm. a little uh, embarrassed. Embarrassed. Mm -hmm. uh, then there was trash trash all over the theater. Mm -hmm. theater. The mess was uh, annoying. Annoying. The people behind me told during the movie we was uh, um, amazing. The movie was amazing. Mm -hmm. The story was hard to follow. I I always I always find thrillers too confusing. Mm -hmm. I liked the special effect, so. They was amazing. Aha. That, 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 they, everything was good except for the one that behind Beatrice. Because, for example, you said, yeah. the people behind me talk during the movie. Have you, have you seen to, have you go to the movies, guys? And you're trying to pay attention to the movie. Yeah. And they're like, people like, talking, talking. And they can't, we you cannot listen know. because they're talking. Like, you want to like, yes. shh, we right? They are annoying. <laughs> we are annoying. Like, this goes annoying. You know, annoying. Disgusting. Or it could annoying. be annoying okay. because they're making a lot of noise that you cannot concentrate. Like, we're, you want to like kill them. Like, <laughs> right? Mm hmm. And the mess, when you the see mess the trash, is like in yeah, disorder. It's a the trash. trash. Yeah. Exactly. So it's like, oof, right? Mm -hmm. So it could be like uh, <laughs> disgusting. Mm -hmm. It's disgusting. <laughs> exactly. Very good. Teacher. Yeah, who? Danny, go ahead, Danny. Yeah. Um, we always use was to say something in the past, and that give us uh, the guideline to use ed. Mm. If uh, the sentences doesn't have a was, we use the ing. No, or, Danny. Yeah, no, Danny. Like, uh, you can either use is or was. The difference uh, that you need to use, for example, how you're going to identify if I'm going to use ING or ED is most of the time, if you're talking about Danny, ING, if you're talking about the things, the circumstances. Okay, okay, uh, okay. If, if the sentence doesn't have a uh, was, uh, we use ING. It, it could have was, or it could doesn't have was. Mm -hmm. It could be, for example, that, for example, right, if you are talking about uh, a movie right now, you can say the movie is interesting, right? Mm -hmm. You're using ING form and, you're, and it's in present, of course, besides you're using the, the verb to be in present, but it's in present because you're talking about a, the movie itself. Is the present participle, ING, oh. exciting. But also when you arrive back home, you can also you now you are not in the movie theater anymore and you can said the movie was exciting okay. as well because uh, now you change the bird to be right because now the movie already passed but you're still talking about it about describing it you're using the participle you're still using the present participle because the present participle is in ing form and helps mm -hmm. drives the things. Doesn't matter 
if the sentence is in past, it doesn't matter if the sentence is in it's a present. Okay? Okay, teacher. Okay. And if you're talking about your feelings, right now you can say, if you're in the movie theater, right? Now, I am excited, right? Because you love the, the, you love the, the movie. But you arrive back home and you said, the movie was exciting. I was excited. You see? Is it a yes. little bit clearer, Danny? Yes, yes, teacher. It is, it is all clear. Okay. Like water or like horchata? Like water. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like okay. vodka. Like coca. Come on, Danny. <laughs> vodka. Chema. Ah, vodka. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh Listen to him, guys. Ah. <laughs> you can see Danny, right? <laughs> he looks a shy guy, but... <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just I'm just teasing you, Danny. <laughs> and I'm just kidding everybody. Okay, guys, any questions so far? Is it good? Is it PC quiz? Yeah, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. Only Marianita said yes. Everybody's like quiet. I don't know why. <laughs> Rafa, come on. And Rafa said no. I better say, do not say anything. <laughs> no, it's a, it's, it's a PC quiz. It's a PC quiz, right? Of course, you see, you, I, I know that you love grammar with me. I know that. Yeah. <laughs> For sure, yeah. Okay. Okay, so tomorrow, guys, we will continue seeing this and I will give you like, um, I think more, more adjectives, more adjectives that we can use either with ED or with ING besides the one that we have here. So you would increase your vocabulary more, okay? And that will help. Okay. And also, guys, we're going to double check about um, synonyms, right? Be because we need to have more vocabulary that, and also another particle that means quietly the same. That is a synonym, for example, a synonym of disgusting, right? A synonym of exciting. There's, there are another word that I can use as a particle and I can mean the same. Yes, you can. So we're going to learn more about that and, of course, and other things. And this week, guys, we're going to play also Kahoo. But, I, but this Kahoo will be like, poof, tough. Okay. I can. I can. Come on. What, uh, Marianita? No, no, nothing, teacher. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay, guys. Sorry. No, that's okay. No problem. Okay, guys. So it was a pleasure to have you on the first Um class of the third week can you imagine wow yes. time passed really fast yeah. <laughs> teacher I say bye bye i know okay teacher yes, i have a question um uh -huh. it doesn't about this topic okay so uh, bye guys i'm just kidding <laughs> <laughs> okay bye <laughs> but i feel very confused when we wrote the word yearly about accessories when we have to use double L or we have to use always only one L. About which one you said? Jewelry? Jewelry. Oh, jewelry. What? Jewelry. Okay. Oh, jewelry. Yes. About this one's what happened? Yes. And I don't know when we have to use the word with double L or with the with one l <laughs> ah and, and it's not only that word it's uh, about another word that has the same thing yes <laughs> ah okay don't worry i will talk about that topic on thursday okay okay a, a, only only double uh l's or you want also to double check about all the words that you double it mm. only l yep. <laughs> are you sure no <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> Sorry. So, no, so do me a favor. Try to send me on the WhatsApp chat besides that that topic that you have doubts, any other ones. And we can also do like uh a, a, like a refresh. Okay. Okay. Of that. Thank and you. All, and my pleasure, Marinita. And also guys, if you have any problems with uh that any other topic, or also guys with some exercises of the platform, please let me know. So we can have like 10 minutes or 15 minutes of the class and we can do everything together, okay? okay. So we can clear any doubts that you might have as well. Thank you. Okay, okay guys, you. hugs, kisses.
Have a great night. Enjoy your meal. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.